then I wouldn't see much of a problem for her. Plus, she's going to get the buff up from the Magnus. Yeah, you're not looking for Cleave, but you're looking for the buff anyway. And the Embassy... They just come oh. through, which drags that line further up with the Fissure Block into the touch. Empire, this will be first blood. With Searing Chains leveled up, they want the last hit on the offlane Ember Spirit Silent, and they got it. It's in the bag. In terms of farming, the, finding their farm uh, since the early game stages, they're, they're doing a pretty darn good job, I have to say. Even DK Fobos, like, if you consider him as a three-position hero this game, since Juggernaut and Sniper probably get farming priority over him, you know, he's he's pretty much neck and neck with the neck Magnus. I know he's 400 behind, but in the meantime... Havos is in a lot of trouble here. There's an RP available from Yoki, so he can just skewer her in, go for the RP, oh. turns him around, and then Silent in with the Searing Chains as well. This was a uh, smoke initiation started up by Na'Vi. They came and smoked three players behind the tier one tower on bottom. And the Roshan goes the way of Na'Vi. Well, Goblex managed to walk all the way up to top lane and scout out both the Ember Spirit oh, as well as the key. Magnus. He shouldn't die yeah, right now. Just get like, out. Okay, now, now he should. Because the force is coming over. So he's starting with the Hex, follow up with the stun. Uh, Finger of Death is still available here for Goblex. He's going to throw it before he dies. The Vorce does have the ultimate as well, but he's got three heroes. I don't think he's got a choice. He has to throw the ulti out, but the RP, oh, the VS oh. swaps him out. He's still alive, but the Echo Slam will ensure he drops. Ferbos does throw the ulti out, so it's going to be a little bit more trouble here for Team Empire to get away and also keep up with Vanscore. He tried to turn the Ember Spirit, though, able to get the Searing Chains off. Aloha Dance will TP himself back to base. There's no damage to kill him off, but Stalin has no mana, and for some reason, the Courier was trying to deliver items to him and went underneath the Plague Wards. That had its crystal. The, if he had the Omni Slash there, Dying it would have made a difference and gotten the kill on the Ember, and that would have been relatively huge. Regardless, they're still getting the Roshan, though. Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower is the top lane attack. was actually not as much pressure as I kind of felt it was. Silent, Spirit, he's not going to get that Aegis the Immortal. He's still going to jump oh, inside in the anyway. pit. This is where he went last time. He got the kill on Vanskull. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. He was able Very to nice. reach him with just a jump into Slant of Fear Searing Chain. Getting the, the gold scepter, right? Yep. Okay. Top tower is under so the problem with that though is, um, yeah. But the problem with that though is, um, you're investing so much on support. Oh, oh, oh Yoki! He ran in close because he had the shadow blade. Phobos will still get the ulti off, which means Yoki will die here. A fourth man to also get his only slash off, standing his ground. Surprisingly, da bad, uh, battling up against a hero like the Magnus. Always want to fly. Uh, he can't. Oh, he can't. The poison. No. Oh, the touch was on him. The, <laughs> the Nova wore off, but the touch was still on him. It was only a poison touch. So there's that. Is Empire getting ready to try and have a crack at top? They got RP off cooldown in one second time. So just a straight blink to RP on a boss. Oh, he missed it. He missed the skewer out. And they still have enough control with the blink into an epicenter. Uh, they do also at the same time lose their embassy. Missing off the map. And Dendi is just playing so ballsy with the sniper. Ever since Vanscore has just been camping him or being in his proximity, he knows that he can just get swapped out from all the all the different dangers, possible dangers. Because mm -hmm. they don't really have a hero that can stick on him. They have good gap closers and they have good initiators, but... Vanscore's in trouble. Yeah, Vanscore's that Fissure from Aloha Dan set up. God Black is not going to make it easy for him. At the same time, I'm surprised uh, he didn't just start draining out the mana from the Medusa. Because Phobos will be able to keep the Medusa back. Between Gale as well as the as well as all the Plague Wards. Well, I suppose Dyer's Medusa's pushing hard enough there. That's, give, give me more of that drain, Goblet. Give me more of that drain. Mm -hmm. Take away Bristles. Uh, you can almost say his mobility too, because if he doesn't have the Warpath stacks from being able to spam out Quill Spray and Nasal Blue, then he's really slow and he's potential to getting, uh, he's holding to kite, kiting. Uh, we got a little bit of trouble coming up for Na'Vi, or oh, great things for Empire, it's a three-man, oh, oh, whoa, oh whoa, 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 Lion and Vanscore didn't stand a chance, they got Slider fisted down, Phobos is still going to jump in with that Blink Dagger and the Veil of Discourse, and all the damage being turned around, the Stone Gates are down from Resolution, but Avos, he's too fast, and will TP himself away to safety, the Skewer comes, Sentry on top, I was about to say, this, it's difficult to get the advantage with the RP, when you can't see into the enemy base, but when you're given high ground like this, um, top are it's a lot easier. He even moves himself in that, inside the trees, waiting for Navi to move into this area. That's that's his box where he believes he can murder everybody. And then he walks Dyer's into said box. Oh dear, this might be a solo RP incoming. Yep, yep. he gets Sandy. God Black too late on the stun. The stone gates will go, and a boss has to turn his back towards this. You've already lost Sandy. Where's your buybacks, however? Oh. You've only got one on the juggernaut. He's gonna have to use it right now. Vanscore's dropping. 
quickly. And Phobos also caught out. He'll get the ulti off. It connects on three. He did also manage to get the Gale. So Silas can be a little bit more cautious about this, but they realize that it's just and, and it's inevitable. Navi, we're going to lose this game. Empire just had too much power behind their cause. So GG. It really does, comes down to the positioning again. If the Magnus is able to get that kind of RP and the Vengeful Spirit cannot follow up with an immediate swap due to the surprise factor, then that's just how the game goes. Unfortunately, Dendi didn't have buyback either as he just finished uh, one of his next big critical items. I believe it was the Daedalus completed. But regardless, it's just how the game goes. Well, the way this game went, that's our first game. It's a team